And you've probably heard about promising results of a COVID-19 vaccine study being conducted by Oxford University. Now they want to take things to the next step by actually exposing volunteers to the coronavirus to see if the vaccine works. And plenty of people are ready to do it. As Les Strand reports, they say helping save lives outweighs the risks. Thomas Smiley is stepping up big time. You're really walking into the unknown. All the more reason to do so. 30,000 volunteers have signed up for what's known as the challenge trials. They'll be given an experimental vaccine and then intentionally infected with COVID-19 by inhaling the virus. It's all meant to fast forward the work of Oxford scientists and determine if the vaccine the entire world is waiting for actually works. I'm looking for what is going to help the most amount of people irrespective of what it does to myself. Smiley is 35 years old. He lives in Cincinnati and works as an engineer technician. I felt that this was something I had to do. I am not concerning myself with the risks as much as I'm concerning myself with the resolution. Another volunteer is A.B. Rorick. He's a 20 year old student at Swarthmore College. Are you not concerned about your own personal safety? I am and I certainly don't want to get sick. Uh, but if I can expose myself to a controlled risk uh, to hopefully end this pandemic sooner, then that's a risk that I'm happy and eager to take. The two volunteers share several things in common. They're young, they're healthy, and they're idealistic. Both signed up through the OneDaySooner.org website, which is still soliciting volunteers. Jeffrey Kahn of Johns Hopkins University says he has doubts about the human challenge trial. It's dangerous and, and I think a problem in the context of a COVID vaccine um, because we don't know enough about the illness yet. And so because there's so much uncertainty, it doesn't seem responsible to go forward with a human challenge trial at this time. But these two volunteers are willing to take the risk. Oxford University is waiting on approval from the NIH to start the human challenge trial, and they say they expect to get an okay soon.